The prophecy of Peter Duinov regarding the end of our civilization and the beginning of the golden age on earth. Also known under the spiritual name of Ben Serduno, the Bulgarian master Peter Duinov (1864–1944) was a being of a very high level of consciousness, at the same time an incomparable musician that gave during his whole life an example of purity, wisdom, intelligence and creativity. For years, he was established close to Sofia, where he lived surrounded by numerous disciples. He by his radiance awakened the spirituality of thousands of souls in Bulgaria as well as the rest of Europe. Some days before his departure to the other world, he was in a profound, mediumistic trance. He made an extraordinary prophecy in regards to our troubled epoch that we are crossing today. A prophecy about the end of time and the coming of a new golden age of humanity. Here is this deeply moving testament. It is current and so vibrant that one doubts that these words were spoken almost 60 years ago. During the passage of time, the consciousness of a man traversed a very long period of obscurity. This phase, which the Hindus call Kali Yuga, is on the verge of ending. We find ourselves today at the frontier between two epochs, that of Kali Yuga and that of the new era that we are entering. A gradual improvement is already occurring in the thoughts, sentiments and acts of humans, but everybody will soon be subjugated to divine fire that will purify and prepare them in regards to the new era. Thus man will raise himself to a superior degree of consciousness, indispensable to his entrance to the new life. That is what one understands by ascension. Some decades will pass before this fire will come that will transform the world by bringing it a new moral. This immense wave comes from cosmic space and will inundate the entire earth. All those that attempt to oppose it will be carried off and transferred elsewhere. Although the inhabitants of this planet do not all find themselves at the same degree of evolution, the new wave will be felt by each one of us, and this transformation will not only touch the earth, but the ensemble of the entire cosmos. The best and only thing that man can do now is turn towards God and improve himself consciously, to elevate his vibratory level, as to find himself in harmony with the powerful wave that will soon submerge him. The fire of which I speak, that accompanies the new conditions offered to our planet, will rejuvenate, purify, reconstruct everything. The matter will be refined. Your hearts will be liberated from anguish, troubles, incertitude, and they will become luminous. Everything will be improved, elevated. The thoughts, sentiments, and negative acts will be consumed and destroyed. Your present life is a slavery, a heavy prison. Understand your situation and liberate yourself from it. I tell you this, exit from your prison. It is really sorry to see so much misleading, so much suffering, so much incapacity to understand where one's true happiness lies. Everything that is around you will soon collapse and disappear. Nothing will be left of this civilization nor its perversity. The entire earth will be shaken and no trace will be left of this erroneous culture that maintains men under the yoke of ignorance. Earthquakes are not only mechanical phenomenon, their goal is also to awaken the intellect and the heart of humans, so that they liberate themselves from their errors and their follies and that they understand that they are not the only ones in this universe. Our solar system is now traversing a region of the cosmos where a constellation 
that was destroyed left its mark, its dust. The crossing of a contaminated space is a source of poisoning, not only for the inhabitants of the Earth, but for all the inhabitants of the other planets of our galaxy. Only the suns are not affected by the influence of this hostile environment. This region is called the 13th Zone. One also calls it the Zone of Contradictions. Our planet was enclosed in this region for thousands of years, but finally we are approaching the exit of this space of darkness and we are on the point of attaining a more spiritual region, where more evolved beings live. The Earth is now following an ascended movement, and everyone should force themselves to harmonize with the currents of the ascension. Those who refuse to subjugate themselves to this orientation will lose the advantage of good conditions that are offered in the future to elevate themselves they will remain behind in evolution and must wait tens of millions of years for the coming of a new ascended wave. The Earth, the solar system, the universe are all being put in a new direction under the impulsion of love. Most of you still consider love as a derisory force, but in reality it is the greatest of all forces. Money and power continue to be venerated as if the course of your life depended upon it. In future, all will be subjugated to love and all will serve it. But it is through suffering and difficulties that the consciousness of man will be awakened. The terrible predictions of the prophet Daniel written in the Bible relate to the epoch that is opening. There will be floods, hurricanes, gigantic fires and earthquakes that will sweep away everything. Blood will flow in abundance. There will be revolutions. Terrible explosions will resound in numerous regions of the earth. There where there is earth, water will come. And there where there is water, earth will come. God is love, yet we are dealing here with a chastisement a reply by nature against the crimes perpetrated by man since the night of time against his mother, the earth. After these sufferings, those that will be saved, the elite, will know the golden age, harmony and unlimited beauty. Thus keep your peace and your faith when the time comes for suffering and terror, because it is written that not a hair will fall from the head of the just. Do not be discouraged, simply follow your work of personal perfection. You have no idea of the grandiose future that awaits you. A new earth will soon see day. In a few decades the work will be less exacting, and each one will have the time to consecrate spiritual, intellectual and artistic activities. The question of rapport between man and woman will finally be resolved in harmony, each one having the possibility of following their aspirations. The relations of couples will be founded on reciprocal respect and esteem. Humans will voyage through the different planes of space, and break through into galactic space. They will study their functioning and will rapidly be able to know the divine world to fusion with the head of the universe. The new era is that of the sixth race. Your predestination is to prepare yourself for it, to welcome it and to live it. The sixth race will build itself around the idea of fraternity there will be no more conflicts of personal interests. The single aspiration of each one will be to conform himself to the law of love. The sixth race will be that of love. A new continent will be formed for it. It will emerge from the Pacific so that the Most High can finally establish his place on this planet. The founders of this new civilization, I call them brothers of humanity, or also children of love, they will be unshakable for the good 
and they will represent a new type of men. Men will form a family as a large body and each people will represent an organ in this body. In the new race, love will manifest in such a perfect manner that today's man can only have a very vague idea. The earth will remain a terrain favourable to struggle, but the forces of darkness will retreat and the earth will be liberated from them. Humans, seeing that there is no other path, will engage themselves to the path of the new life, that of salvation. In their senseless pride, some will, to the end, hope to continue on an earth, a life that the divine order condemns. But each one will finish by understanding that the direction of the world doesn't belong to them. A new culture will see the light of day. It will rest on three principal foundations. The elevation of woman, the elevation of the meek and humble, and the protection of the rights of man. The light, the good, and justice will triumph. It is just a question of time. The religions should be purified. Each contains a particle of the teaching of the masters of light, but obscured by the incessant supply of human deviation. All the believers will have to unite and to put themselves in agreement with one principle, that of placing love as the base of belief, whatever it may be, love and fraternity that is the common base. The earth will soon be swept by extraordinary rapid waves of cosmic electricity. A few decades from now, beings who are bad and lead others astray will not be able to support their intensity. They will thus be absorbed by cosmic fire that will consume the bad that they possess. Then they will repent because it is written that each flesh shall glorify God. Our mother, the earth, will get rid of men that don't accept the new life. She will reject them like damaged fruit. They will soon not be able to reincarnate on this planet, criminals included. Only those that possess love in them will remain. There is not any place on earth that is not dirtied with human or animal blood. She must therefore submit to a purification. And it is for this that certain continents will be immersed, while others will surface. Men do not suspect to what dangers they are menaced by. They continue to pursue futile objectives and to seek pleasure. On the contrary, those of the sixth race will be conscious of the dignity of their role and respectful of each one's liberty. They will nourish themselves exclusively from the products of the vegetal realm. Their ideas will have the power to circulate freely as the air and light of our days. The words, if you are not born again, apply to the sixth race. Read chapter 60 of Isaiah. It relates to the coming of the sixth race, the race of love. After the tribulations, men will cease to sin and will find again the path of virtue. The climate of our planet will be moderated everywhere and brutal variations will no longer exist. The air will once again become pure, the same for water. The parasites will disappear, men will remember their previous incarnations, and they will feel the pleasure of noticing that they are finally liberated from their previous condition. In the same manner that one gets rid of the parasites and dead leaves on the vine, so act the evolved beings to prepare men to serve the God of love. They give to them good conditions to grow and to develop themselves. And to those that want to listen to them, they say, do not be afraid. Still, a little more time and everything will be all right. You are on the good path. May he that wants to enter in the new culture study consciously work and prepare. Thanks to the idea of fraternity, 
the earth will become a blessed place, and that will not wait. But before, great sufferings will be sent to awaken the consciousness. Sins accumulated for thousands of years must be redeemed. The ardent wave emanating from on high will contribute in liquidating the karma of peoples. The liberation can no longer be postponed. Humanity must prepare itself for great trials that are inescapable and are coming to bring an end to egoism. Under the earth, something extraordinary is preparing itself, a revolution that is grandiose and completely inconceivable will manifest itself soon in nature. God has decided to redress the earth, and he will do it. It is the end of a new epoch. A new order will substitute the old, an order in which love will reign on earth. Peter Duinov, Propos on the Future, 1944 Adaptation, Olivier de Rouvroy